we going to discuss about the reproductive morphology in plant morphology and taxonomy of angiosperm reproductive morphology we have discussed about the vegetative morphology of the plant that is root shoot and stem and to and the, now we going to discuss about the reproductive morphology that is the reproductive morphology means we going to deal with the flower and fruit and seed so flower fruit and seed we going to see and before we going to see the topic in detail we must know what is floriculture floriculture it is a branch of horticulture where the cultivation of flowers and ornamental crops are studied studied in this and the government of india has identified floriculture has a very good industry that is export that has 100% export oriented business the government had approved the agriculture and processed food product export and development authority apeda so it is responsible for export the promotion of agriculture and horticultural products from india inflorescence so inflorescence means what means this is the, here you can see the group of flowers arranged on branched or unbranched axis in a definite pattern it is called inflorescence and the function of inflorescence is effective pollination to display the flowers for effective pollination and seed dispersal these are the two functions so the functions of inflorescence is effective pollination and seed dispersal types of inflorescence based on the position the inflorescence is divided into terminal axillary cauliflorous terminal means from other that means the shoot tip so it deals with the shoot tip that is in the tip shoot tip if it takes place then it is called terminal inflorescence example raceme of nerium oleander axillary inflorescence it is seen in the axil of the vegetative leaf example hibiscus rosa sinensis cauliflorus cauliflorus means it is developed from woody trunk so woody trunk example theobroma cocca cocco cocco plant and corypta geniensis so this is the example based on the branching pattern and other characters the inflorescences are classified into four types indeterminate determinant mixed inflorescence special inflorescence indeterminate example that is indeterminant is racemos determinant is cymos mixed inflorescence that is both the indeterminate and determinant pattern is seen in some plants special inflorescence you cannot able to confine these plant patterns racemose and zymose differences in racemose the main axis of unlimited growth in zymose the main axis limited growth the flowers are in acropetal succession in racemose in zymose basic petal succession in racemose opening of flower is centripetal and in zymos the opening of flower is centrifugal and usually the oldest flower at the base in the inflorescence axis in racemos but in zymos the oldest flower at the top so you can see the zymos here the oldest flower at the base and the youngest flower at the top and the main axis doesn't possesses any floret because of it it is undetermined growth that is the growth is not limited here not limited and the axis of the inflorescence is called peduncle racemose inflorescence so the racemose inflorescence we have discussed and the types of racemose inflorescence based on the growth pattern of the main axis it is of three types so we can see the racemose inflorescence main axis elongated 
main axis shortened and main axis flattened or globose the main axis elongated is simple resin spike catkin spikelet spadix panicle so these are all comes under the under these uh, under the main axis elongated in main axis shortened corymb and umbel in main axis flattened or globose is head so we will see the racemos in fluorescence that is in that main axis elongated so here the main axis was elongated and the flowers may be sessile or sessile or pedicellate so this here the main axis doesn't possesses any flower so the main axis is grows on grows on growing and the younger flower that is the older flower at the base and the younger flower at the top top and the first one is simple raceme so for the simple raceme the same the, the flowers are in uh, acropetal succession that is the older flower at the base and the younger flower at the top example mustard and crotalaria retusa retusa the next one is spike so in spike the same as the racemos that is the main axis doesn't possesses any florets and the florets are sessile here and they are arranged in acropetal succession this is older flower below and younger flower above example akira akiranthus spikelet so the spikelet that is it is literally like a small spike the central that is the central axis is seen in the seen in the inflorescence and there is a pair of bracts you can see here the bracts like structure at the base so black -like, black like structures at the base which is called glooms so the glooms is seen here glooms and each sessile flower has a lemma this one is called the lemma the the lem, the lemma and there is a palia so you can see the lemma and palia here and um, the tepals are colorless and they are scaly which is called as lodicules lodicules and each flower has a stamen and pistil so each flower is represented by a stamen and a pistil exact that is only one only one that is stamen and pistil the example is paddy the next one is catkin pendulous spike so here you can see no like this that is in the upper side you can see the spike but pendulum means below like this it comes below okay so pendulous spike spike and they possesses unisexual or bisexual flowers so example is a calypha hispida prosopsis juliflora spadix so the inflorescence here it is fleshy the inflorescence is fleshy and thicken the central axis has unisexual flowers which are sessile and they are arranged in acropetal succession and the flower fl the female flowers at the base here the female flowers and the male flower at the apex so the entire inflorescence it is covered with a brightly colored spathe may be hard or fleshy example amerpho phallus or colicacia panicle so it is same as a simple raceme but with branches so this side a simple raceme and this side a simple raceme with branches and it is arranged in acropetal succession example magnifera mango neem and if, if there is in a compound raceme or raceme of racemes this it can be called as compound raceme or raceme of raceme the panicle is otherwise called as resins of resins or compound resin main axis shortened so the main axis will be see here the main axis shortened and the other florets uh, comes to the same position 
so if it acts if, if if it looks like that then it is called main axis shorted in this only two corymb and umbel corymbos so corymbos means the main axis is short and the from the lower to upper are in equal size that is the top, lower one possesses that is the older one possesses long pt long pedicel and the younger one possesses short pedicel and all are arranged in a same line same line uh, that is called corymbos example cesalpinia in compound you can see here this is a compound uh, um, compound uh, corymbos the that is the main axis here also there is no but the See, that is this is the older one which possesses branches and they are arranged in the same pattern of a cropetal succession example is cauliflower umbel so the umbel umbel which is the central axis it is um, the central axis from the peduncle the group of flowers are arranged example allium sepa onion onion and the compound of umbel means the umbel was in branches so this is one umbel and this is one umbel so it is in a uh, compound example docus carota carrot coriander sativum the these are the example for umbel main axis flattened so here the main axis was flattened and the best one is head or capitulum so the head it may be determined or indetermined so you can see this head in florescent this is the receptacle or torus torus and it possesses two types of florets this is ray florets and he, this one is tube that is disc florets so the ray florets and disc florets are seen 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 in the head in florescent and the ray floret is otherwise known as ligulate floret because it looks like a tongue like appearance so it is called as ligulate florets and disc florets are tube shaped so it is called as tubular florets homogamous head in florescence homogamous head in florescence means the presence of similar type of florets either disc or either disc or and uh, ray florets so the disc florets only seen in uh, seen in uh, vernonia and the ray floret only seen in livonia heterogamous means presence of both the ray and ray and tube floret in head in florescence example tridax and helianthus so and the the same that is the it is seen in the that is always the ray florets at the margin and in the center you possesses the disc florets disc florets the flower and the inflorescence are subtended by the lateral appendage called the bract in sun in sun flower you can notice the whorl of, whorl of bracts forms a cup like structure beneath the mimicking the calyx such whorl of bracts it is called as involucre it forms a the bracts forms a cup like structure called involucre so the group of bracts present beneath the subunit of the inflorescence is known as involucre below the inflorescence is also known as that is it forms a unit in the inflorescence that is called involucre hope you understand the topic if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box if you want to watch the video in tamil i had given the link you can go and watch it give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel